of everything, right? Your own perspective, your own attitude, your own goals, your own rules of judgment, all of that, which to me was very empowering, especially as I am an Enneagram eight and I really do like control as my main mm. like, goal. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's amazing. And how, and you know, why not just take ownership, take ownership of the way that you look at things, the way that you frame like your own decisions and whether there's like a, an expectation you do something or not, you get to choose how you let that impact you and influence you, right? All of it is your yeah. choice. And after that conference, I actually went and got a tattoo. Let's tell you about on my wrist. It says, own it. Mm. Like you have to own that. Yeah. That That is your path, your journey, your story. It's different for you than anybody else. And you're going to get there the way you're going to get there. Mm -hmm. That is such a, you know, I remember the first time I really, really got that idea. It was like, it was like, my mind was like blown. It was like a mic drop in my brain. I'm like, what? Like I get to choose how to interpret. I get to choose how to show up. I actually get to choose for myself, not based on what I think everybody else around me needs. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if you can sort of acknowledge that for yourself and at the same time be almost accepting it for other people. I don't know if this mm. is the right way to articulate this, but you know, like if you're like, if I'm going to be like this and I'm going to choose how I want to do my thing, then mm. I'm also going to accept that other people are going to choose the way they're going to do their thing. Yes. Yes. Right. And what if we all chose to do our things in a way that made us feel alive in our life? Yeah. How amazing and, would that be? Yeah. And so like, you know, if you choose to grow and you choose to follow your passion, you choose to have big dreams and you choose to take action and you choose to break the mold and, and take those steps. It, it feels challenging. And I remember kind of being on the precipice of a moment where I was like, I'm going to the next level. And I now know what that feels like. Mm -hmm. I can't explain it which was difficult because it involved investing in coaching. And I had to explain that to my husband. <laughs> yeah. It's ter terrifying, <laughs> terrifying. I was like, like, I don't know what this is, but I'm getting on a bus and I really want you to come with me like a, a, a metaphorical <laughs> bus of growth. And, and I'm worried yeah. about who I'm going to leave behind. But then I started to think, you know what, the better I am, the better I am for other people. Mm -hmm. And one thing I write down in my journal every single day to this day for about three years is my light shines to brighten others. Mm. So I can be as shiny and bubbly and enjoy everything that I want for myself, but that just lightens the room around me. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not a spotlight where all eyes on me. It's like a beam mm -hmm. that comes out. Yeah. And brightens yeah. everybody else. Marianne Williamson has an amazing quote about that. It's, it's a, you know, a lengthy quote, but the crux of it is that as we give ourselves permission to shine our light, it unconsciously gives other people permission to do the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so what were some of the, uh, you know, looking back, some of the, the most significant challenges for you along this process? Well, challenge starting a business is challenging. Uh, deciding <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> deciding to do that, and and part of it is definitely about the people you have around you and the support systems that you have mm. in place, right? Mm -hmm. To uh, for some reason, people will celebrate anybody getting a new job all day long, but you say you start your business and like two people like it, like, come on, yeah. right. It's a big deal. Um, so just the challenges and learning and development that have come from being a business owner mm -hmm. and what that looks like in my family, uh, schedule income roles, all of that kind of stuff has certainly been challenging. Um, how it's changed the way I think about like, cause now you can't shut it off right? No, nope. <laughs> 24 seven, my business. And then ideas coming at two in the morning. And like, yeah. that's just what I want to talk about because I get excited about it and yeah. I want to do that. So I think 
you know, just the whole journey of entrepreneurship has definitely been one, um, one of the big challenges and, and ongoing and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and, and I think that if, if you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, you know, this, that, well, I hope that you know this, that you are the limiting factor in your business. Right. And it's that it's all that inner stuff around, am I worth it? Can I do this? So oh, I'm, I, it needs to be perfect before I take action. I, you know, like I'm afraid what people are going to think. And so as you up level your internal belief system, then your results up level. And so you, you mentioned that you got to a moment with that gulp, right? You, you grabbed your courage, you invested in coaching for yourself. Are you glad you did? Oh, a hundred percent. Because I think you need that reflection. Mm. You need somebody to ask you the questions mm -hmm. to make you think about the things that are unconsciously mm. happening. And sometimes maybe we're getting really in tune with that, that internal guidance system and actually just moving with it, but yeah. not, not thinking, right? If yeah. my mind isn't in my head, mine is in my body. So I maybe need to actually sit and think about those things, mm. pull up, pause, mm -hmm. go back to that strategic visionary kind of level around mm -hmm. not just my business, but my life. Like whenever mm -hmm. I set goals, I have like kind of three blocks of goals. There's mm -hmm. like business goals. There's relationship goals around my family, my friends, the people that I want to have around me. And then like self care mm. goals like fitness and wellness and you know if I want to have a massage every month I would put that sort of in that box mm -hmm. but I want to look at everything as one person because that's the thing when you become an entrepreneur you realize that what they've been telling you at work for your whole life is such crap that <laughs> you cannot check your personal life at the door no <laughs> there's no such thing as that no. you are one human you're using a different yeah when you're wearing a different hat but it all really is intertwined. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. And we bring ourselves wherever we are. Right. And if you're, if you're having challenges in one aspect of your life, or you're not fully satisfied, you're not having the results that you would love, that's going to actually spread into other areas of your life. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so what would you say are your your next level challenges, your, your learning edges, what's that green growing edge of becoming, what does that look like for you? Well, I think that our goals just expand mm -hmm. as we grow. So the things that are no longer as challenging to me that I've sort of, um, found myself being successful at, I've just moved on to the next big thing. Yeah. So it's, it's really like the, the ongoing challenge. And I don't think it ever goes away is to actually achieve everything that you want to do. Yeah. Right. So there's, there's moments where you feel like you're just, if there's that lack and, and not mm. enoughness and, and you're like, Oh, well, you know, if only I could make $10,000 this month. Well, as soon as you do that, you're like, well, now I want to make 50, <laughs> mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. Or it's whatever the next big goal is and yeah. you're never really satisfied. So I think that's the yeah. ongoing for me on ongoing challenges too, is to somehow find satisfaction mm. in whatever, wherever I'm at, it's that constant mm. attempt to redefine success yeah. that's, that is existing, not a future yeah. state. Yeah, f fully. And, and that our goals really are for growing, right? Because our, our goals, as we expand our goals, as we stretch our goals, they require us to stretch and grow as a human being. And so to get that next level of result, we need to level up ourself, our expression, our beliefs, our skills, all of those things. And so how do you balance then that, that excitement of the growth, right? Knowing that that's life itself, expressing itself through you, that growth, right? Just like a tree grows, we grow. And also being able to be grateful and present in the moments that you have right now.